And we'll have a call to order, please. Thank you, Michael. All right, we'll have a call to order. And uh, Dolores, would yes, you sir. please do the pledge? And uh, Robert's going to do our uh, invocation for us. Will please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're bowing in the pray. <clears throat> Dear Father, we come to you tonight, Lord, so thankful for this blessed day that you've given us. Thank you for find the help that's needed uh, for us all to be here tonight, Father. And we just pray that everything discussed here in this meeting tonight be a benefit to the residents here in the city of Mount Pleasant. And we pray for safety and, and strength to get through uh, all of the this COVID stuff that's going on, Father. We know it's all in your hands. We give you thanks and praise and ask, and ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Amen. Hey, May I say one thing? Absolutely. You know, after the part, you know, I'd just like to, everybody to remember Jacqueline because she, you know, she needs our prayers at this Absolutely. time because yeah, of her. Absolutely. Prayers for Jacqueline and her family. So I'd just like for us to remember her. Absolutely. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. All right. Roll call, please, ma'am. Ms. Blankenship? Here. Ms. White? Here. Mr. Davis? Here. Ms. Granberry? Here. And Mr. Mr. Harvey? Here. All present. All right. Number four, approval and correction of minutes from prior meetings. And we have three sets here. One from our study session of the 15th, the regular meeting of the 20th, and the special meeting on the 29th. And we'll need three separate votes on three that. Three separate, okay. So we, like we normally put the study in the regular, we're going to do them separate tonight. I think with the special call, we probably should do four to you. Yeah, I think you just do them all separate. It's easier. Okay. All right. A study session. I'd like a motion to set the study session from October the 15th, 2020. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. B, regular meeting of the 20th. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes from the regular meeting on the 20th. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. C, special call meeting of the 29th. We make a motion that we pass a special call meeting on the 29th. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Five, awards, presentations, and appointment. Oath of office for new term city commissioners. Everybody has in their packet that the election was certified, so that gives us the green light to go ahead with, with that. And um, we were thinking of just doing it alphabetically. Does that works for everybody else? Or? Oh, me. Okay. Which would... Or, I'm going to write this down to make sure I know all together but, before. Or we right. can, we can, pardon? We've done them all together before, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. Cool. Do them all separately? Yeah. We're going to do them separately. So, um, or, or we can, I can, we start with, um, we can just start with Miss Alderson and just go up the table this way, too. Does that work? So, yeah. Okay. And Loretta's got the O's here. And You're up. We've got photographers here. and You're first. Get up. <laughs> Get up. The her family come in. They have to the dollars family. If they want to come in, let them have your back. Thank you. Raise your right hand, please. 
Alice. Alice. Willie Webster Alderson. Willie Webster Alderson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. The state of Tennessee. The state of Tennessee. And the laws and ordinances of the city of Mount Pleasant. The laws and ordinances of the city of Mount Pleasant. In the performance of my duty. In the performance of my duty. As commissioner. As commissioner. For the city of Mount Pleasant. For the city of Mount Pleasant. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> So, Ms. Alderson, you can take your seat over here, and you can swap places with Mr. Loris, who's going to stay here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everyone. Where's she going? I'll take this off, but we go outside. Really? Really? You've got to work that way. That's not how it works, really. Take some pictures, I guess we can continue to take care of it. I hope that's your old amateur. That's all, that'd be perfect. Alright, I'm going to put that down. <laughs> put that down. Then we all got to square this time, too. Like you can do less time. <laughs> I, Eric Harvey. I, Eric Harvey. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. The state of Tennessee. The state of Tennessee. The laws and ordinances of Mount Pleasant. And the laws and ordinances of the state of Mount Pleasant. In the performance of my duty. In the performance of my duty. As commissioner. As commissioner. For the city of Mount Pleasant. For the city of Mount Pleasant. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Each of you need to sign your oath of office before we leave tonight. I'll take a picture of you and okay. the family in the lobby. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting smaller, if you notice the book. They're getting smaller. <laughs> Say the best for life, right, Mr. White? Huh. <laughs> okay. Raise your right hand. I, Bill White. I, Bill White. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. The state of Tennessee. The state of Tennessee. The laws and ordinances of the city of Mount Pleasant. The laws and ordinances of the city of Mount Pleasant. In the performance of my duty. In the performance of my duty. As commissioner. As commissioner. For the city of Mount Pleasant. For the city of Mount Pleasant. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. That I will uphold the Constitution of the United States. The state of Tennessee. The state of Tennessee. The laws and ordinance of the city of Mount Pleasant. The laws and ordinance of the city of Mount Pleasant. In the performance of my duty. In performance of my duty. As commissioner for the city of Mount Pleasant. As commissioner for the city of Mount Pleasant. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I have a video of it also, and I'll send it to you guys. Okay.
do hereby swear, do hereby swear that I have all the qualifications that I have all the qualifications named in the charter of the city of Mount Pleasant named in the charter of the city of Mount Pleasant for the office of a member of the police department for an office of a member of the police department for the city of Mount Pleasant for the city of Mount Pleasant which I am about to assume which I am about to assume and I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And of the state of Tennessee. And of the state of Tennessee. That I will comply with. That I will comply with. And observe the provisions of the Charter of the City of Mount Pleasant. And comply with and observe the Charter of the City of Mount Pleasant. And the ordinances of the City of Mount Pleasant. And the ordinances of the City of Mount Pleasant. And I will faithfully perform. And I will faithfully perform. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Chris, thank you. Welcome to the city of Mount Pleasant, and please be safe. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. In the morning. All right, we're going to take one second, if y'all don't mind, uh, and make a presentation. Mr. Lord, yes, sir. would you please come forward? It's not another song. <laughs> I don't trust you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd done something wrong. No, I'm just going to, the 39 here take pictures, so we just going to make sure we get some pictures. We want everybody to be able to see this, so if you could, um, Dolores, how many years you've been doing this for us? Six. It's been a pleasure. Thank we don't always see eye to eye, and if we did, it'd be scary. Yeah. <laughs> but we get over it. We get over it. Over it. And uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, oh, I pulled my hearing aid out. <laughs> no, I got it. Don't lose that. That's no, expensive. Yeah, but uh, thank you. Thank you. I've enjoyed the it. The city appreciates what you've it's done. It's been a pleasure. Right. It really has. And and it's been it's been fun with these four other people. We we've gone <laughs> along well. And I wish y'all luck to do it. And Willie, you've got a great group to work with. So, mm -hmm. you know, and Kate, it's been great working with you. Absolutely. Thank you. This will match Tom's. Yeah. <laughs> so if it goes the other way. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's even better. better. Yeah. It'll be good. Good. If y'all don't mind, I'd love to get a picture of the other commissioners. Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be yeah. great. Come on. Why don't we slide we forward just a little bit? That way they can slide. Come on, Willie. Right on easy, Mr. Tell him you're not off yet. I'm not off yet. Okay, look up here, Miss B. He's texting her boyfriend. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so that one tell away here you better get okay, on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then one last thing, since you're already all standing up here with Dolores, with, when she steps down, if we can get a picture of the new city yeah. commissioner. Sure. Dolores, congratulations. Okay, thank thank you. you for everything. Move your mask out of your hand. Who puts it? Put it no, it's a blue you. surgical mask. Kate's <laughs> okay. okay, in the background, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> yes, she's part of okay. the team. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take some of those. Oh, thank thank you. You. All right, I think that's all. The, Is that it? I think so. Rather than doing it at the end of the meeting, that works out. Yeah, because there might be some folks who want to get some other information. Everybody has an agenda and what they need. I know, uh, Ms. Willie, that we're still working on the tablet for you. Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> updating right now. All right, number six, completion review of unfinished business for prior meeting, ordinance 2020-1059. It is a public hearing and a final reading. An ordinance amending Title 16 of the Mount Pleasant Municipal Code by adding Chapter 6 regarding the creation of a film and media production permit system for the use of public property. And Mayor and Commissioners, uh, we talked about this at the study session. 
we realized that this ordinance was something necessary when we did the large production with Kim Brown. It actually turned out very well. The city did really good money, but we wanted to have some rules and regulations kind of set up to outline the process to get a permit for this, whether you want to freeze closed, you need police protection, is it closed to the public, or is it just closed, closed to cars, all of that kind of in detail in that ordinance. So um, if anybody's here that wants to speak for it or against it, it is a public hearing. That's correct. Anyone care to speak on it? Please let the minutes reflect no one cared to speak. I think y'all done a great job with this. It's a great start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet there will be changes. Oh, there will be. It will be a learning process. That's right. Yeah. But we got to start somewhere. And that's important. So, with that being said, any other discussion? Entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve August 20-10-59. 20, 20 Second. Motion by Mr. Davis. Second by Mr. Harvey. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, monthly report from Mayor. I don't have anything. And number eight, monthly financial and budget report, Ms. Loretta. You all have in your packet, too, that uh, we don't have anything from the power system. That's correct. Uh, no meeting, correct, Mike, due right. to right. safety concerns? Right. Mm -hmm. we'll, yeah, so we'll, we'll get, get caught get up. A couple, right. and a couple key employees. We'll get caught right. up next month. Yeah. <coughs> but we did get the uh, the main part, the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just want to make sure yeah. to you that's why it wasn't it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the, um, of course, the October is the fourth month. Our fiscal year begins um, in July 1st each year. So this being the fourth month of the year. Um, October is typically the month where we actually send out property tax notices. People should be getting them in their mail. Um, if they haven't already. Um, so that we will start seeing the revenue come in from those property tax receipts. Generally, those start coming in. Um, you'll have a first wave that people, when they first get those property taxes, they'll come in and pay immediately. Then you'll have a second wave that comes in toward the end of December. Most of those um, are going to be your mortgage companies that are paying for people that have have paid their taxes through escrow uh, and then of course you will have a final push there at the end uh, when they're due February uh, which will be February 28th. For the month of October we did receive, uh, I reported in our, the report that you received that we had received $4,600 from the 10 CAMs for the COVID relief. As of tomorrow we got an additional 12000 that should be deposited tomorrow. That brings the total down now to 17400 and we've already been approved and um, it should be deposited into the bank by tomorrow. So that is a uh, good start on getting those uh, monies in. We still have um, a few more corrections to some of the reports. Um, it's kind of a lengthy process in getting those submitted. Um, and Kelly's been working on those, and, um, and Sonia's been working on those very hard, getting those, getting those in, getting the payroll information in, and getting all that done. Um, at the end of October, <coughs> our expenditures were at 26.3 percent. That is so. Uh, that is at a good place. That's about roughly about a third of the year. So I think that so, uh, at this point, financially, we are holding our own in a tough environment. Mm -hmm. Very tough. I, I want to thank you and, and Kelly and everybody that's been working on this. That's taken a lot of work. And I, I see it personally. Uh, and it's been a lot of work. So thank you. Anything else, Laura? That's all. At the moment. All right. Entertain a motion for approval. Make a motion to approve the month, monthly budget. Report. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I second the motion. We've got a second. Thank you. Go. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Monthly report from city manager. 
Uh, yeah, I just have a couple of things. I want to let everybody know that we do have people signed up, Mr. Harvey and Ms. Alderson for the Elected Officials Academy. Unfortunately, it's virtual. It's not going to be a person, but it's over four different evenings, uh, two and a half hours each time, and we're going to do it here and put it on the screen so you know we can we can be there as well. But it will be very helpful to to everybody, I'm sure. So, um, I wanted to let everybody know too that we are having issues with the retirement plan that we have switched over to. We used to be with ICMA and we switched over to the States Empower program, initially requesting that we match exactly what our current program is. It's not what we got. So we're having to fix it and we're going to have to come back to you to make some changes to it, but we can't really come back to you to make those changes until we get it completely fixed. We've had conference calls and we're working on it, but just so you're aware of it, it's not a surprise when we do come to you, hopefully in the December meeting, to get those things straightened out. And finally, the best news, uh, if any of you saw any of the news this evening, the young missing child from the Amber Alert was found. Hallelujah. Um, and I want to make sure that everybody knows that not only was Murray County Office of Emergency Management involved, our own Rodney Howell from our fire department was there because he is a certified expert in drone, and the, the drone footage helped uh, find this child. And so Hallelujah. I think that's great that we were involved in that. I sit there watching on TV and going, by the minute, it's not good. That is fantastic news. All right. Uh, we don't need a motion or anything, nope. is that correct? All right. Number not. 10, special reports from other departments, and I think mainly is the barge update. Yes, and I'd just like to have this in the minutes where we talk about um, where we are. We are about to close out the wastewater treatment plant improvements that are a part of the Murray County CDBG. Uh, literally paid, I think, the final invoices last week. Sewer trunk line, if anybody drives down North Main and looks over to the field uh, between uh, the public housing the, uh, uh, and the uh, GCP products, you can see trucks back in there on, on Mike uh, Floyd's property. So they're two weeks into that. Um, so that's moving right along as a second small project. The biggest news, though, is for the next two projects, the Rainy Street Sewer Improvements and the Wastewater Treatment Plant Improvements USDA literally today approved our amendments where we changed uh, Rainy Street. We went from an inverted siphon to a pump station and the wastewater. We went from Biomag to an NBR system and all that's been approved today, signed off on the, by the mayor. So we'll just continue to move forward on with that. And that's, we have a long way to go, but we're making a lot of headway with sewer. Just for Ms. Willie and Eric, uh, this has been some time since we did this. We were looking at that biomag system and we were looking at it closely, but the group got concerned, Mike, Jacqueline, throw anything in on this, that that was a little bit new, wasn't tried and true. And also the price, came in way over And the we price tag kept going up. Yeah. Nobody want another error like we No, we don't need any more errors on this. Well, and we're getting funded by a federal agency, and when the price went up, they said, you're not going to pay You're going to have to go with a better option price wise. So it may have been a good thing. Yeah, it may very well have at the end of the day. I don't think staff was comfortable with it, so I feel better that we're going with yeah. the NBR system. So just kind of catch up where we were with that and while we're doing this. Um, so anything else? That's it, thank you. Anything on gas? No, no report on gas. All we'll, good. We'll start seeing some good numbers on gas. It's colder. Uh, 11, new business, consideration of authority to purchase easement crossing at 316 Railroad Street for the Rainy Street Sioux Improvement. And Mayor and Commissioner, this goes back to the barge uh, report where we have that Rainy Street Sioux Improvement. We have one lot that we need access to. Uh, the rec legal records show that it's owned by two uh, Fitzpatricks that are both deceased and we need some permission to uh, go beyond what we've done so far, which is just trying to make phone calls, and, and um, it's, it's not, we're not getting where we need to get. And uh, is there a dollar amount that we want to fund this, Corey? I think that's where it's up yeah. to the commission. What I would like to do is be able to contact the contacts that we've found and offer them some amount of money as to purchase these, this easement. Um, just in hopes that that might help us move the process along. Um, I will say when we told Barge the max amount 
that this property could ever be worth would be $10,000. So, and this is a very small portion of that property. Um, so when we had to put in like a max amount that we could have to pay, that was the you know that we gave barge was 10000 So I would request that it be lower than that. Um, but any, whatever you think you can probably up to. So everybody's aware of it. If you drive down Bluegrass at Railroad Street, you take a left. It is not a buildable lot. It will never be a buildable lot. It sits between the railroad and the creek. I know there was a house on it at some point, but that would never be buildable again. Um, and Corey's biggest concern is, do we have all the air? We believe we know one, but there's nothing in writing, and you can't verbally will people property. So we need something to prove that we're getting this easement from the heirs of the property. So we will ultimately have to have something signed, a, a deed to the property or an easement deed to this, this, uh, this easement across this property. And in order for that to be valid and for me to sign the contract document, we have to know that those are the proper heirs. So we're not trying to be difficult. We just really need to make sure that the records that are recorded at the registrar's office match so that one person that's not a rightful heir can't convey all of their interests. So that's, that's been the holdup. So is that James, this Patrick? Um, it is. I'm going to... Yes. 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 Is it? yes. It was James and Elizabeth who were both deceased. No. No, James is living. No. James is the son. Shannon is living. So there is Shannon. Is it Shannon or Shannon? Shannon. Shannon, 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 Shannon yes. Looper. So the, the people that are listed on the property records right now is Willie Fitzpatrick and Elizabeth Looper. Those people are both deceased. Um, the contact that I have is Shannon Looper. Yes, Shannon Looper. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's living. I think that Elizabeth Looper is her mother. Um, and I think that there is another heir that was Willie James Fitzpatrick, but I'm not sure. So, okay, Willie Jack, Willie Jack James is, is a son. Okay. Oh, am I not right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But is but we don't have a number. Right. I'm not sure if he is. It's to try to figure out if he is he an heir is the problem. Just to determine that, so we have to have conversations to figure out well, what I don't know anything about the Looper woman, but I mean, uh, Miss Looper has told me she is Elizabeth's daughter. Okay, okay. I mean, no, I'm saying this topic is the one that's the only problem, so mm -hmm. I don't know how the Looper came in here. I think I have a solution. <laughs> if you don't mind. No, I, we need one. And a lot of times, you know, when, when we need some information, you know, of course, we need to call on our citizens who know. And to me, which I mean, the person may not want no fee or nothing for it, but to me, I'd be willing to pay a good fee. And the person to find out who this individual is is Miss Jocelyn Johns, and, and I say, you know, let's give her a fee and let her do the homework and get our information for us, if she's willing to do it. It's no problem I can give you that information tonight. Okay. Because after all, may I say? Please. After all, you're talking about my family. Okay. Willie Fitzpatrick was married to my daddy's sister, Phoebe Whitaker. Mm -hmm. She had two children, Elizabeth and James Whitney. Elizabeth had two, son two children, one deceased. The daughters live and she have grandchildren. James Willie, Phoebe, and Willie Fitzpatrick's son had two sons, James and Garland. Garland lives here in Columbia. James lives in Nashville. Shannon lives in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, you all have been in contact with Shannon. Yes. And far as having the contact number, you should have it, yes. because I have talked to Shannon when you all was trying to get that pipe fixed that burst it down there. We all was raised up in that area. Mm -hmm. Okay, you said it once was a house. She it, told me she visited that as a child. That's what I, she told me. We, my brothers and sisters and I, we uh, spent more time 
in that area than her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. She also had another building on that property. That was her smokehouse. And now every time that creek would flood, it never would get in her house. It would get to the bottom step on the back porch. Mm -hmm. Okay? It was the way the house was built that the water couldn't get in the house. So, <coughs> Shannon Lupa will not buzz until James and Garland are included in whatever y'all want. And, and we put that in writing to her. She's never, she's never responded to that, but that's but, great. But that's what I'm saying, though. Can't we get Miss Joyce Lane to, to do the, the paperwork or, you know, getting it, getting it done for us? I mean, if I, if well, I, let me just say something. A lot of times people won't talk to city officials mm -hmm. when they'll talk to family members. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. You know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not but the one because I might put something in the hat. <laughs> well, you probably get something in the hat. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. No, I'm I'm willing, you know, to put before, before this board, you know, to pay Miss Joyce Lane a fee, you know, to get this probably passed through. If Y'all do your paperwork, do your legwork, and then get back with me to let me know what Miss Lupa said because she's not going to budge until she get with James and Garb. She won't return calls anymore. That's why we're at the place that we're at right now. She won't return calls or emails, and I have both. That's why I was hoping, you know, maybe you could get in touch with James and Garb. That's what. You know. She talked to me about two years ago several times, and then when we started moving forward saying we need to show proof of who the heirs are in the property, then all the communication stopped. Well, I don't have a dog in the fight now. That's Lupus and Fitzpatrick. I'm a Whitaker. And I'm Johns. Mm -hmm. Now if you was trying to get in with my siblings and myself, I could do it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not stepping over boundaries in somebody else's mess, and your mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fully well, we understand that. Corey? I was going to ask Ms. Johns if I could talk to you after the meeting to get those, that family tree again, so I would know which people. And then we'll do the contacting. Yeah, and then we'll oh, do yeah. the contacting. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Johns. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very much. I think that's it. So, what, how would you like to motion to? Yeah, we need to discuss a dollar amount, correct? Yes. So can we use a not to exceed? Ten thousand. That's what was brought up, right? I would just say not to exceed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm see. saying. Yeah. I mean, we. Uh, but of course, you know, if you say not to exceed ten thousand, then the people know it. You know, it's going to be ten thousand. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> well, it kind of is what it is right now. It's not. It's not valued at that in mm -hmm. tax records, but mm -hmm. we got to start somewhere. No, well, I know that, but I mean, if we can't adjourn. If we can't tie in from somebody else's piece of property, you know. Well, we can always, we can go with condemnation if we have to. If we did a condemnation, it would be a fair market value of the property that we were taking, which would be a percentage of the, the pie of 10000 Yeah. So go in the layman terms of that, okay? It's basically, the city needs the property, so we would have to go to court to, to condemn the property and take just the, what we need to get the easement across it. We would be successful. It would take a long time, and we, that's not the route we want to take. No, I don't think we need to. But if that's what we have to do, we have to do, but we're hoping we don't have to go that route. Yeah, it would be our goal not to have to do that type of litigation. But that's the cheapest no, route. That's, no, that's the most expensive route. It'll be the most expensive route. Yeah, so what will it be? How call is it? A charter fee? The, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, what, what will it be? I'm just asking, what What's? What do you think the ballpark figure is? How long will it take? I don't know if you have an idea, Corey. So I mean, so I mean, you know, time constraint so is worse than the what I'm saying, <laughs> by you talking like that, the property may be worth more than $10,000. I'm just... It's, it's really not. It's just that's not the route we want to take. I think well, I mean, I realize that. 
10000 would be a good motion to make because I don't think the property would ever be worth that amount, but attorney fees and a condemnation might get close to that. So okay. If and then, then you got to look at the reputation that you're... Your right. reputation will risk you running. Yeah. That's more yeah. expensive yeah. than anything else. Let me ask one question. The property next to the Fitzpatrick property, who owns that? Which direction? Towards Bluegrass or? Going toward the railroad station. Off the top of my head, I don't know what that I is. Think it's See, it was I'm a, hunt, it up, it was a family it's that lived next door to my aunt. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was Mr. Mm -hmm. Willa Green. Mm -hmm. Now, can't you all bargain on that property to do the work that you have to do? No, it's very specific where we need to have the lines for the sewer project. We can't pick. It's got to be where it needs to be. It's been it's being engineered specifically for that. There's already a sewer line there. Yeah. So it would just I know. Yeah. We yeah. just slide across it. Right? <laughs> 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 Try to walk it. You know. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. So I think Mr. Mr. Harvey made a motion. I yeah. think you would yeah. you like to finish that, please? Yeah. yeah. So I move that we. Begin negotiations with the family not to exceed ten thousand dollars of the fair market value. Any other discussion? Got a second? Mike said. Mike, yep. Yeah. And that was not to exceed ten thousand or fair market value. Uh, Corey, do you think it'd be good to have roll call, roll vote on that, just because it's a monetary amount? Sure. Everybody okay with that? And is that okay the way I worded that with not to exceed ten thousand dollars? It's a start off. Yeah. Did you come back to you since we're Did yeah, you we, say we always do that fair market value is four thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, yeah. of the slip of land we've got. I think we're fine at ten. It's, it gives yeah. us a number to start, right? Yeah. Okay. Ten thousand dollars. Okay. Not to exceed. All right, roll call vote, please, Ms. Ms. Granberry? Yes. Mr. White? Yes. Mr. Harvey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. And Ms. Alverson? Yes. 5 0. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. General comments from the citizens. We had no one sign up, just so everybody could see it uh, initially. Uh, and this is where I usually try to. Mike, you got anything you'd like to add? I uh, guess I would. And I, I, and I hope nobody takes this wrong. Uh, Chief, I think we had a wreck out on the uh, Scott Hollow Road. And we went out there. And, and I'm okay, but the problem it is with it, when we go outside the city limits, and let's say we have a wreck. I'll just give Polk Lane because that's a bad place up there at the intersection. And there's people trapped in a vehicle. And we can't send nobody because we are out of the city limits. Now I realize, you know, that Columbia backs us up. But the problem I have, will Columbia get the call at the same time the Mount Pleasant gets it. Will there be, you know, four or five minutes pass before Columbia gets to this? And it's the same, and I'll go ahead and, and uh, put fires outside of the city limit at the same. And the reason, again, People inside the city limits, they live inside the city limits for a purpose. And that's to have the equipment that we need. When they have, a, you know, where there's a wreck, a fire, you know, so it's there. People outside of the city don't pay nothing and they get it free. And, I, you know, that's just, I just don't... I just know if there, if my family is in a wreck and somebody gets hurt and Mount Pleasant says, hey, I'm sorry, we're 10 minutes late, we're outside the city limits on another call. You know, 
I'm sorry, but the city is basically held responsible. Philip can address that for you. Well, so on that particular I'm just saying he's going but the city, well, I mean, I'll even go as far as to say if that's the way it is, our chief would even be listed as the individual responsible. Yes, you're absolutely right. So on that particular call with Scott Hart Road, I sent three people, piece of equipment, and extrication unit. They responded to that call. They took care of it. And I left on four in the city. On the daytime, I have staff in the seven. We have them all there. So I leave. I never send everybody out. On the automatic aid agreements, I will empty a station. Uh, nighttime, we do a call back, and I've never had a situation where we have not covered the city at any given time. On that rec, that wasn't an automatic aid. That was a mutual aid. Um, we have not opted out of mutual aid, so within reason, anybody surrounding us can call us for help, and we can do the same for them through mutual. Now that's we have, what we are, I'm not going to interrupt you, but that's what we agreed to. I'm just saying, to, I'm just right for mutual aid. No, it's automatic not, aid for fires. Okay, so you're saying that you're taking it upon yourself to go do this. No, we get called from mutual aid through the 911 system. Columbia, will, Columbia will help us and we'll help Columbia. For any reg, even in Columbia, Mount Pleasant, or wherever, we have to come through the system, 911, we had mutual aid requests from Murray <laughs> County Fire. Um, we did the same with them on RECs. So I believe we've had RECs in that area where Columbia got there faster than we did from Station 4. Well, I'm just telling you what's going to happen if somebody does have a wreck, And we're outside of the city limits. I leave people in the city. Do what? There's people in the city. What do you mean? I don't dump the whole station of firefighters to a red call. I, re okay. I realize that, but if you take the extracting machine with you outside... You got two of them. You got two of them. Yes, sir. Yeah, I thought it through. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we had 16 firefighters when we had the problem prop, prop well, with the As long as y'all thought it through, yes, but I'm yes, telling you, first time something happens to my family, Mount Pleasant's going to be held liable <laughs> if, if we're outside the city limits doing another job. Through mutual aid that we have not. Offered. I can't help. I can't help mutual aid. I can't help but I can't help but mutual aid. I pay city taxes. I pay city taxes for this. For this. That's what we pay city taxes for. You all would have the choice to opt out of mutual aid if you would like. You have that choice, but that means when you opt out, you opt out all the way, and we could not request help to us. Mutual aid. Now we have automatic aid for fires, but mutual is a state statute that if you opt out, if you guys opt out, we can't request it or get it. And, so and our insurance up. company understands that we're participating in mutual aid and automatic aid. Well, MTAS, that's our insurance, right? Public entity, Public entity partners. partners. Okay, well, they'll be liable then. They'll be part of the liability. They'll make that decision. No, yeah. they won't either. The judge will. That's just what I'm saying. I'm just being, I'm just being. Who does the, um, um, I lost my mind. The things we get water out of this outside city limits, who do they belong to? The, um. Yes. They're the, if they're in this area, they're the city of Mount Pleasant. Even outside city limits? Yes, ma'am. So they're out anyway. It does. Continue outside our city limits. But the city, but the people outside the city limits that's on the water line, they pay for it. People outside the city limits that has a fire or an accident, they're not. If you paying, go outside the city limits, paying. you pay extra for the. They're paying for taxes. Pay, though. Yeah, you pay extra for the for the fire hydrants is outside the city limits. Cause they put one out there in Canaan where I lived there, and I know we had to. It was like added onto your uh, so much a month. Just like the garbage, well, you got to pay extra for your garbage. You got to get somebody to pick it up. But and you're gonna pay extra on your insurance as well. Right. But well, actually, your insurance goes down if the fire hydrant is put within uh, so, we, they, so many feet of your, of your house. And also, if you live within so many miles of a fire apartment, yeah, fire it goes down. Well, I mean, I mean, we got a we got a fire hydrant in the city limits of Mount Pleasant. And we had to pay county price for it. <laughs> was, was, was it in the city limits yes. when they put it there? Yes. Yes. I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. County had to do it. It's on Polk Lane. Uh, Polk Lane is. I'm not familiar with that. Are you? 
There's one fire hydrant yeah. boat lane in front of Well, Mike. of course, you know, we're not clear right on away. a lot of things, you in know. In front of uh, Mike Rowland's shop, that's right across the road, there's one okay. fire hydrant from Coke Lane. Yes. But was it put there before or after? It is owned, actually owned by Columbia Power and Water System. I just want it to be on, on record that we as a city know what is going on. So in case something happens, you know, we can't come back and say, oh, so we wasn't aware of this. Mike, I just, or Mr. Davis, to try to help put you. Oh, you're good. You can call me, Mike. Uh, I mean, if it did happen, I sent two to three guys out, and I had two to three left, and we, we had a wreck at Polk Lane there at the intersection. I would do the same that we just got. I would meet the way at the City of Columbia Station forward and have them come that way. We tried to work collectively well, together. And it has been a long time in the workings to get departments to work collectively together because when we have these instances of that magnitude, I mean, you need people, you need resources. Well, um, Columbia's got the resources. The Columbia, Columbia was willing to do this a long time ago when Mount Pleasant wasn't. Mm -hmm. I do know that. Yeah, I know that for a matter of fact. A long, long time ago? No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. In my tenure? No. Yes, in your tension. I've, you know it. I pushed for this for a long time. So you like somebody else. I don't remember. I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> is that a put in long automatic aid agreement? No, no, that has been brought up, Philip. That has been brought up. We have automatic aid agreements. Am I missing something? No, I, I'm not sure. I, it, it, apparently, you're not happy with me on something. I don't know what it is. No, I don't know no. about the fire hydrant. No, I'm thing. just saying. I'm just saying when something goes. You know, when somebody says something, I don't recall this or nothing. Columbia wanted to do it with Mount Pleasant, and we didn't really want to do it with Columbia at that time. We wanted to do it with Murray. With Murray. I will be happy. I will be happy. The, the volunteer. Yes. 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 I will be happy to. We did. Yes. 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 Now that what are you saying is true? Because I. I mean, I wouldn't send back here, but I do remember that. Yeah, we signed our aid, aid with Murray County first, and then about a year later we signed with the City of Columbia. And there's always a time when Columbia may not get the call first. So that's what, you know, they might not get the, the call at the same time that you do. And that's the point I want to bring out, so that we know if we're outside the city limits and something happens, I just want the people to know they can go back, and listen to this video, and they know that that the city is well informed on what's going on. I'll be happy to pull the mutual aid agreement and the automatic aid agreement that this commission, city commission, not necessarily there, but it's sitting here right now, passed. And yeah. if you've got any questions after you've looked at that, that'd be great. Get, get, get that out, please. All right, Miss Willie, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> any comments you'd like to make? Well, I'm just glad to be here, and I hope and pray we all can work together and do what's good for the city of Mount Pleasant. Sure. Amen. Good morning. Miss Jack. Thank you all. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be by this man. I get to argue with Mr. White a little bit more now. <laughs> I know you're going to really hate that. Um, just pray for my family, my son to back to Georgia, I'm going to turn around and come right back. Um, for those who don't know, my um, granddaughter passed this morning, so, and I have been at Vanderbilt since last Tuesday, so I'm tired, and I probably don't even know what I'm saying, but anyway, just pray for my family right now. It was not an illness plan, it was a car wreck, and... It's hard to give them up when they're gone. That's all. Sure is. We're thinking of you. Mr. Eric? I'm uh, thankful to be here. Thankful to serve. And roll tight. Good evening. You know, this power has shifted now with every two. Well, hey, hey, it don't matter. <laughs> it, it don't matter. We don't have no hope. All right, I said what I wanted to at the beginning of it. Again, thank y'all very much for uh, for your support. And uh, with that, I would entertain a motion. Entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll make a motion for adjournment. We have a second. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thanks to everybody for being here tonight.